All right, we are live. I'm gonna just start that again. Um, for those of you that are just jumping on, my name is Kelly Jimenez and um, I am the founder of Team Hard Hitters and thank you guys. I think a majority of you who are on the call tonight were on the sneak peek or the glimpse into coaching group that we hosted tonight. So thank you for taking the time to kind of check out coaching and see if this is gonna be a good fit for you. Um, I just wanted to start off the call by giving you my story and sharing with you a little bit more about um, why I became a coach and why I'm still doing this three years down the road and I still love every minute of it. And I'm gonna just share with you, you know, what does it take to be a coach? So you can decide tonight, like, is this for me? So I'm gonna tell you exactly what we expect from you every month if you wanna grow this to be a full-time income. And I'm going to share some frequently asked questions. So what are the biggest concerns that people have when they sign up to coach? And then I'll just kind of go over the basics of getting signed up if that's something you decide you want to do. So first, I just, you guys got to hear from a lot of our coaches tonight. And I just wanted to share this picture with you guys. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys can all see my screen. So this is a picture of all of our top coaches and hard hitters. And we got to go to Tahoe um, last month and just bond, hang out, we took headshots, we did training, we had people from Beachbody Corporate come do training with us, um, and we just got to really just soak in time with each other. And the reason that I even share this picture or bring it up is because um, I just want you to know that we are all like normal people, normal moms. We all have different backgrounds, we're different ages, we come from different parts of the country. But the cool thing is, is that we've all kind of come together. We've kind of created this sisterhood and um, our, our entire goal is just helping people get healthier. And it's really cool. And that's something I didn't realize when I joined Beachbody is I didn't realize I was going to be getting this community of people surrounding me, supporting me, um, helping me build my dream business, helping keep me accountable so that I stayed in shape and that I'm constantly pushing myself and my fitness, um, you know, to get healthier, to try new workout programs. And I just never knew that that was part of it. So I wanted to start off by just sharing this picture. And if you guys are on the, on a phone call, you won't be able to see this, but it's just a fun picture of all of us girls. And, um, it's just kind of become more than what I ever expected. So I wanted to start off by sharing that. So um, so a little bit more about me. I am a stay-at-home mom to two little boys. I have a four-year-old and a one-year-old. So our life is crazy because if you guys have toddler boys, you know they're running and jumping on things and climbing on top of tables, and my life is never a dull moment. Um, on top of that, I'm a baseball wife. So my husband plays baseball for a living. For, so the past seven years, we've been traveling around the country supporting him. That's why I'm tucked away in this little tiny room. We're down for spring training right now. We're renting a house and um, so I'm just kind of tucked away in this little quiet room as much as I can be so if you hear my voice screaming in the back you realize um, you know why so um so we have a crazy, crazy life. My husband travels all the time. I call myself a single mom during the baseball season because I really am. I mean, even when my husband is quote unquote home, he really only gets, gets to spend about two hours a day with us. So um, it, it was a very isolating, very lonely um, lifestyle for a while for me. And um, after I had my first son, I... I used to be really into working out. I was a college athlete. I played volleyball in college and was very active, went to the gym. And after I had my son, um, it was really hard for me. Not only were we traveling a ton for the baseball season, but I never wanted to stick my son in those nasty gym daycares. And I also had a really hard time getting motivated again. I was tired. I was trying to figure out life as a mom. And I kind of continued to tell hey. that lie that it was okay. I didn't need to get into shape anymore. I didn't have to make myself a priority anymore because I was a mom. And I ended up feeling like I kind of lost myself in that first year of becoming a mom. So I don't know if any of you guys can relate or if you've been a mom before or been a mom before. If you, if you guys are moms and you have kids, if you can relate to that feeling of, you just don't feel like you are a priority anymore. This little person has kind of just consumed your entire life. And um, also, it's, it's easy to tell yourself that lie that you are your mom and you don't have to worry. You don't have to try to get your post baby body back or whatever the case was. So for me, you know, I just felt like I was losing who I was as a person. Um, 
I was busy with my to-do list of being a mom, but I just was not fulfilled. I just felt like something was missing. So about a, after my son was about a year old, I saw a friend post on Facebook that she had done this workout, Turbo Fire, and she had a six pack again and she had had two kids at that time. So I messaged her and I just said, hey, what are you doing? Share this with me. So she had done Turbo Fire, and um, she encouraged me to do a challenge group. Um, and for those of you that don't know, it's just a private group on Facebook where you post your workouts daily, you share healthy recipes, you help, help hold each other accountable. Um, so I jumped into this challenge group not knowing what I was getting myself into, and um, I fell in love with it because... I was working out at home, but people cared that I was working out. They wanted to check in with me. Um, they cared if I missed a workout. They cared what was going on in my life. They loved seeing my healthy meals. It, and you know, when I, all those years, even before I had kids, when I was going to the gym, no one cared if I was at the gym. No one cared if I went to a workout class. Like, no one asked me, like, hey, are you reaching your goals? Are you... Um, you know, are you, uh, are you, have you, have you worked out six times this week? Like what healthy meals have you eaten? You know, no one cared or asked me those type of questions when I went to the gym, but all of a sudden I had this community of women who were cheering me on and supporting me. So after that challenge group, I knew that co coaching was for me. I knew that this was something that was going to help motivate me to stay in shape and was going to give me something for me, an outlet for me, outside of being a stay-at-home mom and traveling across the country for my husband. Um, so I kind of dove in head first. And that's kind of always been my personality. Like I got like a 4.0 in high school. I went to college. I majored in journalism and marketing. And I went on to get my master's in business. I started working right out of the gate in corporate America. And I just felt like I, you know, I know how to get things done. I know how to dive in head first and do things right. Well, when I was working for corporate America, like I hated it. I felt like on paper, this is exactly what I should be doing, but like, I didn't like it. I went, you know, I went to work at eight o'clock in the morning, left at 501. As soon as I could get out of there, I, I wanted to be outside. I wanted to be doing what I wanted to do. I wanted at that point I was living in Southern California. I wanted to be at the beach. I didn't want to be sitting in a cubicle you know, fulfilling someone else's dream. And so when I dove into this business, I knew that I, I knew that I could do it because I am very determined. I'm a smart person. Like I knew I could figure it out. Um, but I think what was holding me back was myself. I was worried about posting on social media. I was worried about being vulnerable and putting myself out there. I was worried that people were going to look at me and say like, what does she know about fitness and health? What does she know about nutrition? How does she think she's going to coach people? Um, but I knew in my heart that there was something to be said about that challenge group that I had been in. And I knew there was something special there. And I knew that I wanted to give that experience to other people, especially other moms, because I just know how empowering that is for a mom or even anybody to take back their health, to take back um, their fitness and to feel confident and proud of themselves and what they've accomplished. So I let that be the thing that drove me. Um, when I spoke to my husband about becoming a coach, he was hesitant as well. He, he didn't want to see me fail. He didn't want, um, you know, he, all those same concerns, the money, he didn't want me to be spending so much money in this or, you know, anything. So we sat down and we decided for six months, I was going to give it my all. And if in six months we can look back and say, this was a failure, I'm not enjoying it. This wasn't what I expected. Great. Well, I'll quit and that'll be it. That was just a fun hobby that I tried for six months. Well, six months down the road of running in challenge groups, helping other women reach their fitness goals, I was paying our mortgage back home. And like I said, we're a traveling baseball family. So we're paying rent somewhere and we're paying our mortgage back home every single month. So to be able to take that expense off of our plate within six months just completely blew us away. And I thought, okay, well, I'm going to stick with this. Well, six months later, I doubled that income. A year later, I've doubled that. Um, a year later, I've doubled that. So, I mean, you can see how it's grown. And last year, like I said, we ended the year ranked number 59 out of the company. I ended up making over six figures. And I've more than tripled what I was making in corporate America. And again, like I don't say that to... 
brag or anything, but I want you to know that there is an opportunity for a full-time income that can really make an impact on your family. Um, so that's kind of my story. So now I want to share with you, what does it take to be a coach? Um, like to be a successful coach. So you're trying to decide if this is for you, if this, if this is something you want to dive in and do. Um, what does it take? So we will give you training to teach you everything that you need to do, how to post on social media, how to talk to customers. But your main focus every single month is to help three people get healthier, period. That is what I did to get to where I am today. So three people every month you need to help get healthier. So that's going to be it. So if you can think of your friends, your family, your friends of friends that maybe would want to do something like this, three people every month. The other thing you have to do is just post your journey on social media. Doesn't mean you have to be a fitness expert. Doesn't mean you have to be a nutritionist. Doesn't mean you have to have a six pack. Doesn't mean that you have to have lost a hundred pounds. Um, it just means that you are sharing your struggles, your ups and downs, the workouts that you're doing, the healthy recipes you're doing, um, how this has impacted your family, how your kids are more aware of their health and fitness, how it's changed how your husband's eating. Maybe you and your husband are working out together. Maybe you and your friends are going running together. Whatever the case is, you're just sharing your health and fitness journey on social media. And again, we'll teach you how to do that so it doesn't come off salesy or pushy or anything like that. Um, that's it. That's all you need to do to be a successful coach. I promise. <laughs> so that's kind of like, that's the secret sauce. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to do training and teach you exactly how to do that. If this is something you decide you want to jump in and do. Okay. So frequently asked questions. What are some of the main concerns? And at the end of this call, I will open it up for, um, questions. So if you, if I don't go over something that you have a question about, feel free to ask at the end. So, um, one of the frequently asked questions is, do I have to push products? One of my main goals for all of my coaches is for them to share and not sell. I never want you to feel like you are selling to your friends or family and constantly pushing things on them. I would much rather you feel like you are sharing your journey, sharing what's working for you, and people are coming to you asking for advice. Um, number two, people always ask, do I have to have a ton of time? Do I have to dedicate a ton of time to this? Like I said, I'm kind of a single mom eight months out of the year. I built this business during nap time. I would work out, take a shower and work my business during my son's three hour nap. My first son napped for three hours every day, which was amazing. My second son, no, it doesn't do that. So it's even been more of a juggling act now that I have two. But I built this business when I first started during nap time, spending about an hour a day. Um, the other concern is, do I have to stock products? Do I have to buy a ton of products? No. Um, you do not have to stock products. You don't have house parties. You don't have to, um, you don't have to stock, uh, keep credit card information, take people's, um, credit. I know other like multi-level marketing, you have to actually write people's credit card information down. I would not want to have that. <laughs> I would be scared out of my mind to have all these people's information down. Um, but the great thing is that Beachbody does all of that for you. They maintain your website. They update it for you. They, um, they, uh, take care of shipping, customer service issues, returns. All of that is up to Beachbody. So you don't have to do any of that. Um, so what does it take to kind of join Beachbody? So, well, first I'll tell you, when you are a coach, you make 25% 25 25 commission on everything you sell. Plus, if you reach a certain rank, you also start making team cycle bonuses, which is basically just commission on what your team sells underneath you. You also get a 25% discount on all of the products. Um, why is Beachbody so amazing? Well, Beachbody spends millions upon millions of dollars on advertising. I'm sure if you guys turn on a TV, um, you're going to see an infomercial for size for T25 for 21 day fix. They have them running all the time. So Beachbody's doing free advertising for you. A lot of times when you'll be talking to people about the products, they will have already heard of them because they're so well known. Um, Beachbody, once you get to a certain rank, will give you free customers, free leads, and free commissions. So people that randomly see an infomercial and call that 1-800 number, if you've reached a certain rank within Beachbody, you'll get that free lead and commission for that sale. Um, Beachbody will update the website for you with any new products that we come out with. 
And speaking of new products, they constantly are coming out with new workouts, new supplements, new performance lines. Um, they're constantly working to make sure that they are, they are um, I don't want to say state of the art. They're like top of the line as far as, you know, when it comes to fitness programs. Um, and you will have train constantly will have training to help you get better. There is a weekly national call hosted by corporate to give you training from the top coaches in the company, as well as if you're on our team, we do bi-monthly training calls and we have a, t a team website with tons of information that you can constantly go through to get ideas. So what does it take to sign up? So there are two ways to sign up to be a coach. Um, the first way is just to pay the $39.95 fee. And that just gives you your four websites and your new coach training packet and get to be, you can become a coach. The second way that you can become a coach and the way that probably 95% of my coaches sign up is with the challenge pack. So a challenge pack includes a workout and one month supply of Shakeology and it waives your $39 fee. So you're getting a workout, you're getting the Shakeology, which is the most amazing meal replacement shake in the world. And so you're getting everything to kind of kickstart your health and fitness. And you're also getting your coach free wage. So those are the two ways to sign up. Challenge packs start at around 140 and go to 180 for the most part, depending on which workout program you get. So that's kind of the ins and outs of it. Um, we have a couple of our other diamond leaders on the call. So Sarah, Logan, and Debbie, and Nancy. Hi, Nance. So they're all on the call, which is exciting. Hi, guys. Um, and Danielle. Hi, Danielle. Hi. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, if you guys are on the call and you guys have any questions, um, there are a few of us on here that can help answer questions or ease any concerns that you have. Don't be shy. Sarah, yeah. would you share like one of your favorite things about being here? Um, I think originally it was doing the challenge groups and keeping myself accountable. And then after that, it became just the camaraderie that came along with the challenge groups. And I feel like I, I have ladies who have done challenge groups now with me since I've started. And I feel like we're best friends that take care of everything. And then along with that is building the team of coaches and just like knowing Nancy and Logan and Debbie and feeling like I actually know them. And I've met some of them in person a few times. I think that's been my favorite part, which really surprised me is kind of making all the friends that I've made along the way. Mm -hmm. um, does anyone else want to share something? Or do you guys have any questions? Those of you that are on. Otherwise, I'll just keep picking on people. Debbie, what would you, Debbie, what would you say is like one thing you didn't expect about being a coach? Oh, Debbie, are you there? I'm sorry. What did you say? Oh, I just said, what's oh. one thing that I'm going to mute Nance. I, said, yeah, I, know. I can't hear. <laughs> I know. What's one thing that you didn't expect as a coach or one of your favorite things about coaching? Well, I, uh, I didn't know that it would be so, I know that this maybe sound corny, but so fulfilling when one of your challengers loses a lot of weight or has to go off medication. I mean, I want to cry when someone tells me that, you know, I, I just really think about, Oh, you know, maybe you'll fit into some pants or something like that. But I have someone who has lost 40 pounds since August and she no longer has to take her blood pet blood pressure medication. She was pre-diabetic. She's not anymore. So that just makes me want to cry. I love it. That's really cool. And, you know, I'm the opposite of Kelly as far as I found this a lot later in life. I was almost 50 years old, but it has given me purpose, too. You know, you just I'm a stay at home mom and my kids are much older, but it's it's so fulfilling to have something that I can be passionate about. So, so cool. Hey, Logan, what do you think was one of your like hesitancies from signing up? 
Um, I signed up as a discount coach. <laughs> as soon as I became passionate about en enough about the product, I had to share it. I couldn't help it. I've been a gym goer my whole life, like since I was 17 and I was so comfortable there. But um, once I had gotten some results from insanity and then gotten a challenge group with you and tried turbo fire and had such amazing results and actually had fun doing it. Whereas the gym was not a chore, but just not enjoyable. I just, it was just a way of life. The programs just became like a totally fun way to do it, especially with the challenge groups and everything else. My hesitancy with coaching, um, I've been up and down and back and forth and in my step back, not only did I find that I lost complete focus, like in my whole life without it, um, that not without it, but that I realized how much it helped me keep my life focused and like balanced with my family. But when I stepped away from the business, I just felt like I had no, like, like being a mom it is gratifying, like in general, but on a daily basis, it can be really defeating. And this always kind of brings me back and gives me like some sense of success every day and accomplishment just because I know I'm helping people. Yep. And then also just watching everyone, as long as I've been doing this, like two years or so, a little over two years, and seeing so many people have success just by staying consistent. Like you can find a bunch of fears and hesitations to hold you back, but if you just stay consistent and believe in yourself and just keep doing it, it can work for anybody. So true. The power of consistency is like, really helps. Um, let's see, Margo, what do you want to share? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. <laughs> no, you're fine. Sick kiddos. Um, you want me to just share anything? <laughs> yeah, why don't you share an, an aspect of coaching that maybe how you've been so successful by sharing your story instead of, like, you don't, like, you don't really sell. I know that from following you on Facebook. Yeah. Um, I mean, that was something that was really big for me that I was really hesitant to sign up as a coach because I didn't want to sell. I didn't want to be a part of something where, um, I felt the, um, that that was the only way that I was going to make it. And then I just realized that I have a gift to give to people, which has been really important to me. I feel like I'm um, in my success. And, um, I feel like, now that I'm at the point where I'm at, I'm like, oh man, and seeing all these like people be changed and kind of like what Debbie was saying, like hearing people's stories. And um, I even see a couple people on this call who I know whose lives have been changed in my challenge group. And that's like so wonderful for me. And that keeps me going and that keeps me wanting to share. Um, and so I just like, I'm a big believer in just integrating my life um, into in, into sharing with people on social media, whatever that may be, and just, just sharing and being honest with who I am. And then, you know, as I share my story, people have just come naturally, honestly. Um, and as I've been faithful, like with the vital behaviors and just, um, just really try to just be consistent and put that just a power hour every day. That's really what I've done and, and shared. So it's been, it's been fun. It's been awesome. I've loved it. I, I kind of went into it expecting to like feel a lot of pressure and hate it, <laughs> like that pressure of it, you know? And I just like, feel like I found my niche and I found such an amazing, um, just an amazing way to just share life with people, honestly, in a lot of ways and help them. So it's been really fun. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's awesome. Let's see who else are my diamonds on here? Danielle, do you want to share how coaching's changed your life a little bit? Um, yeah. So there's been the health aspect, and I would say the financial aspect and the social. So with the health, I feel better than I have probably most of my life. I was, I was the chubby kid. Like I was way overweight pretty much most of my life, and I yo-yoed back and forth. And there were times when I would get down to my lowest at the time and I would be feeling really proud of myself, but I would be tired and I would actually have people come up and be like, you know, sweetheart, are you okay? <laughs> you, know, you look a little sickly and here I am thinking I look really good. Um, and so it actually wasn't until I was introduced to the 21 day fix and coaching that <clears throat> I got in the best shape of my life. And that was actually already after having my son. Um, I got down to my lowest weight 
And this time, and it was even lower than the lowest weight. But this time, you know, everyone was like, oh my gosh, you look so good. You look so healthy. What are you doing? Um, and my energy levels have been higher. I mean, and I'm even pregnant now and my energy levels are higher. Oh, Margo, did you screen share on accident? How did that happen? <laughs> How did that work? I don't know, but we're back. So, so we're back. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was trying to fix something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry you are doing a great job totally I was like, you know how people how you see the cartoons and they take that real little cane and they start pulling people off the screen like okay you're talking too much right? like, I, was I was like, like how did this chat thing pop up anyways I'm so sorry that was an accident <laughs> no it's totally okay anyway so um you know and even pregnant now I have more energy than I did with my last pregnancy and I seem to have more energy than I did before I even started all of this, because I'm eating better, I'm, you know, I have the shakes. So that's the health aspect of it, is I'm in better shape than I ever was before. Um, with the social aspect, I've rekindled friendships and even made acquaintances into friends, because doing this, you're reaching out to people that you, you may have not talked to in a while, and so that's been really neat because I tend to be one of those people that goes into myself and goes into my family thinking they're my focus, they're what I need to do. But then I, I lose a part of myself because then I'm just, I'm, I'm focusing my little bubble. Mm -hmm. And so this was really nice because there were, there were girlfriends that I had in high school, in middle school, in elementary school that now I'm messaging and just being like, hey, how are you? And so my social life has, has improved too. And that, and then financially, I would say, and financially kind of ties into my personal life and my marriage, because, you know, when there's financial hardship, it strains your personal life. And, you know, I'm in definitely a newer coach compared to, I think most of you already. Um, but even in the shorter time span that I've been doing this, you know, we went from being lucky to have $50 left over in, in our account to, you know, looking at it going, oh my gosh, how did this happen? <laughs> like, hey, we're not eating beans on toast today. <laughs> so, um, you know, so that's been a relief because it's just, it's made home life better. So mm -hmm. it's just kind of all around made me feel more fulfilled and my family happier. So that's, that's awesome. my, my long little rant. I love it. I think we have one more diamond we'll ask and then we can open it again for questions at the end. If um, any of you guys had any more questions, Nance, do you think you can answer a question? I know it kind of looks like you got a circus going on over there. Oh, I can't hear you. Yeah, me unmute you. So it's always a circus. Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can. <laughs> okay, because I'm going for my phone and I, I, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Totally fine. Um, why don't you share? Because for whatever reason, your your video didn't post in the group. Um, how you were able to um leave your nanny job? Okay, sorry. I'm trying to listen because for some reason the volume's not working on my phone now. Oh, okay, we're good, guys. We're good. Um. <laughs> Wait, will you ask the question one more time? <laughs> How you were able to leave your nanny job because of coaching. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm going to try and move to another room real quick. And if it's too hard, you don't have to. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Just going to a bedroom where there's no light, apparently. I'm sorry, guys. It's okay. totally okay. I just realized I wasn't looking at the camera half the time I was talking to everybody. I'm like oh, over no. here because no. I'm on my phone instead of my laptop and I'm like you're looking at everything else talking. You're no, fine. but that's okay. Sorry. I'm at my mom's for dinner, but that's one of the best parts about this job is now I'm in her bathroom and I can still do what I need to do, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so yeah, I was a nanny while taking care of my own two boys to try and bring in income um, for our family. And it was a blessing to still be able to be with my own kids, obviously, but it was also very, um, it started to get to a point where it was detrimental to like my emotional and mental well-being. I just was stuck home 
four days a week because I didn't have a car big enough to carry three kids. I only have a car big enough for my own two kids. So um, it just got to the point where it was like something needed to change, but we couldn't, I couldn't just get a job and afford to put them in daycare. So my goal when I signed up to be a coach was to simply make enough to cover what I was making nannying so that I could get my freedom back. And I was able to do that within um, less than six months of coaching. And since then, I, well, now it's been just over a year and it's been amazing. Like it's done so much for me to, as far as personal growth is concerned. And um, I'm so, so grateful that it's, it's just kind of dug me out of this hole. And it's like, then you realize you can continue this personal journey. It's like I got over one milestone or speed bump as far as like certain things are concerned. Like I got out of nannying and I, I bettered myself in that way because of coaching, but then coaching has pushed me to continue to better myself. And it's just, it's amazing. Every day I feel like I'm learning something from somebody else, whether it be a challenger or a, another coach on our team or what. And for me, the financial aspect is obviously amazing, but it's so, so much more than that. And I'm so, so grateful for it. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, cool. Well, does anyone have any questions that's on here um, that hasn't signed up to coach yet or have any concerns? And then I'll go ahead and close this out. So anyone on the phone or? I'll ask one. This is Kendra. Hi. <laughs> so you said that you, you always want people to try to have three people that they can help each month. Mm -hmm. um, so I know I was trying to kind of think earlier throughout the day, like coming up with who I would maybe have partner with me in the beginning or whatever. And I think I have like two, maybe three right off the bat, but then do you find it just kind of snowballs from there as you start sharing your story or like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So what we'll, we'll kind of share with you is like how to grow your network and how to start mm -hmm. building relationships with more people so that that bubble of people that would be interested kind of grows. And then okay. run groups. Cool too. The cool thing is, is that people will refer people to you. Um, and people that you may not even think are on your radar as far as wanting to sign up with you, if you start sharing your story on social media, all of a sudden you'll get a message, like maybe three months in or six months okay. in from someone that just says like, I've been watching you for the past three months. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we go over a lot of that on how to grow your network and reach out to more people. Perfect. That's kind of my only thing, I think. <laughs> nice. Thanks for asking. All right, are there any more questions from anybody? No, you good? All right, then I'll just go ahead and end it by, um, so I'll tell you guys one more quick little story. So when I went to sign up, I remember I was super nervous, like I was gonna throw up and super excited at the same time. And I remember just thinking like, is this right? Am I supposed to be doing this? And something inside me was just like, yes, give this a chance. And I didn't know how I was going to be successful. I didn't know who was going to join me. I didn't know if I was going to run successful challenge groups. I didn't know if anyone would buy anything from me, but I knew I was going to give it a chance. And I knew I was really excited about it. So if you're feeling any of those things, you're excited, you're nervous, you don't know how you're going to figure this out. Don't worry. That's how all of us felt when we signed up. Um, and you're going to become part of a huge family um, of coaches. I actually looked today. We have almost a thousand people on our team, which is pretty crazy. So you're just going to be like completely embraced and taken care of in our little family um, of coaches. And if you have any more questions, feel free to post in the glimpse group or ask the person who sent you to this call. And thank you guys again for jumping on tonight. Bye, guys. Thanks to all the diamonds that jumped on. Appreciate it, guys. Bye. Thank you.